here is your latest African news. Sao Tome and Principe Sao Tome President Evaristo Calvado hospitalized. Sao Tome and Principe President Evaristo Calvado has been hospitalized since Saturday following an illness. Local media confirmed that the president is admitted to Dr. Iris de Menezes Hospital. The president's hospitalization comes at a time when the country is expecting an electoral crisis due to the delay in holding the second round of the presidential elections. President Carvalho is not a candidate and his term ends on September the 3rd of 2021 after the crisis generated by a request for a recount of votes in the first round by the current president of the National Assembly, Delphim Neves, who is a candidate. The country's parliament has not yet set a new date for the second round of the presidential poll. Zambia. Young Zambians hope for brighter future as Hichilema wins vote. As Zambia's opposition leader Hakainde Hichilema was proclaimed victor of the presidential elections on Sunday, the Zambian capital Lusaka erupted in celebrations that lasted late into the night as supporters sung, danced and waved their waved his party's flags. The Zambian youth are hoping the election of a new leader will see an end to growing authoritarianism in the country and to better economic prospects. Under Lungu, who came to power in 2015, the authorities were often criticized for the suppression of freedom of expression, assembly and association, and the young people are most certainly looking forward to change in terms of the economic recovery and development in the country. Malawi. Malawi to take over SADC chairmanship from Mozambique. Malawi will today take over the Southern African Developing Community, Development Community rather, chairmanship from Mozambique. This will take place on the 41st Ordinary Summit of Heads of State and Government in Malawi's capital, Lilongwe, that will run from August 17 to 18, 2021. The summit will have a limited number of attendees due obviously to the COVID-19 protocols. During the 41st summit, Malawi's President Lazarus Chakwera will take over from Mozambique's Felipe Nguyen who assumed the chairmanship of SADC. The summit will be preceded by a Council of Ministers meeting that will be held in a hybrid format where a limited number of delegates will attend physically, while the rest of the delegates will then attend through virtual platforms. The summit will be held under the theme Bolstering Productive Capacities in the Face of COVID-19 Pandemic for Inclusive, sustainable economic and industrial transformation. Kenya, Safaricom tops EAA's list of valuable forms. Kenyan companies dominated East African and Mauritius most valuable brands in the three months to June 30, with Safaricom being the highest prize brand in the region. During the second quarter of this year, foreign investor participation on the Kenyan bursts declined to 58.73% from 60.37% in the first quarter, largely due to the profit taking after the quarter's dividend book closure, according to the Capital Markets Authority. According to the latest quarterly market report by analysts at African Financials Group titled The East African and Mauritius top 30 companies, Kenya leads with 14 companies, followed by Mauritius with eight, Tanzania with six, Uganda and Rwanda with one each. Safaricom's dominance signals its resilience amid COVID-triggered shocks, which have impacted earnings and the shareholder wealth of most companies. Somalia. Security experts warn Al-Shabaab may try to emulate Taliban in Somalia. The Taliban's swift takeover of Afghanistan has raised concerns that it could encourage other Islamist militant groups around the world, such as Al-Shabaab in Somalia. Experts warn that when and if international forces there try to hand over security to the Somalian government, the world could see a repeat of what happened in Afghanistan. Former Somali intelligence official Abdullah Sam Gulaid says Somalia could see a similar development unless the Somali government ends its over-dependence on international troops. He spoke on Monday, one day after pro-Al-Shabaab media outlets in Somalia celebrated the fall of Afghanistan's government to the Taliban. 
Gulaid said that although Al-Shabaab does not possess the military power of the Taliban, he has no doubt nothing will stop them if they choose that particular path. Africa-wide, China expanding influence in Africa via telecom network deals. Telecommunications networks funded and built by China are taking over Africa's cyberspace, a dependence that analysts suggest puts Beijing in a position to exert political influence in some of the continent's countries. Huawei is working and partnering with many governments across the continent, and it is those governments that are using quality technology to undermine democratic values. Huawei, the world's leading seller of 5G technology and smartphones, is seen by the United States and other countries as beholden to the Chinese government, which could use the company for spying, an accusation Huawei denies. Tanzania. Government moves to formalize 693 unofficial ports. The Tanzanian government is in the process of legalizing a total of 693 unofficial ports in the country in a bid to improve marine transport, curb narcotic drugs and unlicensed firearms. The strategy is also meant to facilitate movement of goods and services besides increasing revenue collections. 348 out of the 693 unofficial ports, almost 50% are on Lake Victoria, which is surrounded by Kagera, Mwanza, Simui, Geita and Mara regions. Deputy Minister for Works and Transport Mwita Waitara said yesterday that at least 24 unofficial ports will be formalized during this financial year. He directed TPA to revisit all levies charged at various ports, both both official and unofficial, to enable the government to come up with realistic charges. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tuna Cheki to watch our daily news reports and our website tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. You can directly support this news series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And remember, Africa is watching. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa that you'd like us to explore.